Here's a real quickie. I was here sanding off my workbench and I'm finished sanding and I'll put away my sander and I'm going to quickly show you how to wrap up cords so that it doesn't damage the cords. Now I didn't know this to begin with, of course. Nobody knows anything to begin with. But I had this pointed out to me way back, way back in the mid 80s when I was working construction. It was a Serbian drywall guy, I think. I think he was Serbian. Either I'm going to say this and people are going to get angry because there is a difference. Uh, either Serbian or Croatian. Uh, there's a big difference, I know that. But at the time, I think that Yugoslavia was just breaking up. Anyway, so either Serbian or Croatian. And he told me, I was wrapping up my drill, it was. And when I was doing it, I was doing it like this, like I normally do. But I had it way tight at the end here. What you need to do is you need to leave some slack there so that you don't put pressure on that joint there. You'll often see those tools, like in a used place or whatever, and that's the first thing you'll see is it's broken here on the end. And that's the reason people wrap up the thing too tight. So that's the best way right there, unless you have a better way of wrapping it up. But this is the way normally people, people do it, and you want to leave that slack like that. So this goes up here. I've got my jigsaw over here that I've got to put away as well. And you do the same thing. You just leave some slack there so it's not, you know, pulling on that. And then wrap this up like so. Wind the end of the cord in around and then put it away.